Hello, welcome to Global Brand Research Life Noting. In this episode, we're going to take a look at how we can recreate uh, these fruits. It's called rambutan, or it's also called uh, chom chom fruits in Vietnamese, or mamoncino. It's basically like a hairy looking fruit, um, and chom chom also means messy hair. Uh, Blender itself already have like a really powerful hair system, but I think they are recreating it for geometry nodes, and that something that we will be using today um, so yeah let's start actually with grease pencil I will be using grease pencil and also geometry nodes and maybe also a little bit of sphere chop so with grease pencil let's uh, let's go to draw mode and right click play with the strength and radius we just gonna draw a bunch of hair strands so this is a single uh, grease pencil, right? I'm drawing just a clump of hair. That's from single angle, but you probably need to draw from multiple angle. So it looks like more 3D. So that's a single hair clump. And I can give it a color. So we can tell the difference later. If we make more of this and maybe the stroke is too thick I can play with the thickness here but also I can make a bunch of them give it a different color I just change the material color here so I'm just now I'm making it a single user so let's save this very quickly as chom chom We can use uh, select them, I think, and use sculpt mode. And we can actually randomize if you want to. Okay, randomize is working only on the selected object. We can also grab and push and twist just to make variations. Same thing with this guy sculpt mode make variations you can also of course <clears throat> play around with the thickness holding control make it thinner things like that okay so we have three different hair strands tap M create new collections and call it hair gonna reset it option G now if we create like a UV sphere we know we can do this <coughs> very easily uh, with geometry nodes just using uh, point distribute and point instance so we connect the geometry input connect this connect that we can have points points being generated on the surface of the object and you can use collections if you choose whole collections it's gonna generate the hair using the whole collections okay but if you choose if you turn this off it's gonna use each single strand and gonna populate the object so that's already pretty cool and <clears throat> it's really cool because it's really fast as well also this is something uh, to keep in mind and then you also can randomize the scale so it's gonna automatically connect to point instance scaling so you can control the scaling and you can you can also uh, randomize the point rotations so if you rotate points in the z-axis it's going to randomize the rotations of the hair so it's adding more uh, so if we use if we 
actually just use rotations and replace it or actually add it we can randomize in all three directions if that's what you want maybe as a vector this is also already pretty cool but you want to random rotate for the point so create a attribute randomize and call it ran rot z make it vector and here we're gonna use random rotate z and we're just gonna rotate it in the z axis you can see there there so this one maybe need to be more subtle okay and currently we are using random that's going to populate the whole thing remember that for density we also can just paint the weight if you want to so here if we turn this off go under weight paint we can just paint some areas that we want the sphere to have hair and then we use that mm. yeah it's called group okay there we go it's only painting the top part of course you want to have the the group also, so join geometry, bring the original geometry, and then the hair goes in. Here you go. Now you can go to weight paint. Yeah. Okay, cool. That's neat, right? How about um, I talk about sphere chalk and because. Um, grease pencil is cool, but it's a grease pencil. Uh, you can render this out, but you cannot. Uh, you need to bake it out in order to turn it into a real object. So I have something here. Um, okay, this is stretch of radius. I have a trick that I want to show you basically so this is the second method so if you draw imagine you are drawing hair strands you just make a couple of variations you know just draw a bunch of them I think 32 or 40 is already quite enough because we can always randomize inside Sferto this is all just flat, but that's okay, we, we can just use this. So let's save this as SV hair GP. And this is a single just grease pencil object. If we use spare chop, grease pencil, grab our grease pencil, and actually just pick a frame okay we should have our object and we can we can resemble it inside spectrum probably one thing that's um i still have to think how to do it is how to get the radius of the hair but for now don't worry about the radius so i have 15 strands of hair if we use polyline viewer if we get rid of this and then plug this into the, this guy you can see right away we can have all this curve being generated let's put it inside a collection specify now we have a bunch of curve each one of them is a different object you can see 
and we can control the radius of course and it's also kind of hollow um, so something that I have to show you maybe use curve mapping curve mapper in spare chalk and each and every curve here have different points and we want to be able to map the points so let's use the list length get the points of each curve strands and then we're gonna use range of number we're gonna generate number between 0 and 1 and for each length of the curve and then plug this into the curve mapper and this goes into the radius so what's happening here here we have a kind of like a cone that's following the curve okay and we can control this using this curve so we can actually reverse it so now we have something that's a uh, chom chom have this hairy looking thing okay cool we can use this inside geometry nodes so if we just append the node group that we have earlier now if we have something like UV sphere switch to geometry nodes and just assign that geometry nodes that we have earlier we should just call it tom tom we can use the my hair get rid of this now we have tom tom uh, okay this guy is actually inside it so let's get rid of this let's move this guy outside of that collection cool now we have this alien looking rambutan chom chom fruit i know it's pretty basic but you know it's still, it's still something let's just give it a hair color oh if you want to make this better Try using applying gradient color for each hair strand. It's gonna look so much better. Color ramp for curve because it's curve object. You can shade it using gradient. So I just create a material there. I can have two material. One is darker red color. Since this is Blender 3.0, we can add assign the material easily okay that's interesting it disappear unless you maybe you convert this into real objects because currently it's a curve it's a point instance but it's also a curve hmm let me think about that but anyway for now we have a way to randomize the seed all this random seed we can just plug this plug into an attribute so each one of them can be different it uh, can be tidier but now each and every chom chom can have different seed value so they are all different randomize the scale increase the density instead of using random you can also use Poisson this with Poisson this you can have more control with spacing Let me adjust the value here a little bit. Okay.
not too bad it's a bit funny hairy but this guy you know if you put it inside the collections you can actually instance that object so you have like instance of an instance so from a couple of hair strands here from this pencil you turn it into something that's more or less like a hair thanks to Sverchov and yeah it's become something that can be reused so you can also use it maybe with text or maybe with a donut here top i guess it goes too far that's blender 3.0 alpha still it might be crashy but and interesting let me know what you think and i'll see you next time thank you bye